Welcome to Coffee with Biking. I am Mike. Cheers. And today's devotion The day grace happened to you. First Peter two twenty four. <clears throat> he personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By his wounds you are healed. Christ took away your sins. Where did he take them? To the top of a hill called Calvary, where he endured not just the nails of the Romans, the mockery of the crowd, and the spear of the soldier, but the anger of God, the anger that was for us. Saturate your heart in this the finest summary of God's greatest accomplishment. God in his gracious kindness declares us not guilty. He has done this through Christ Jesus, who has freed us by taking away our sins. And he nailed them to that cross and covered them with his blood. For God sent Jesus to take the punishment for our sins and to satisfy God's anger against us. We are made right with God when we believe that Jesus shed his blood, sacrificing his life for us. God didn't overlook your sins, lest he in endorse them. He didn't punish you, lest he destroy you. He instead found a way to punish the sin and preserve the sinner. Jesus took your punishment and God gave you credit for Jesus' perfection. But that only comes when we accept what Christ did on that cross and repent and seek that forgiveness. It's not an instant forgiveness until you ask for it wholeheartedly. As long as the cross is God's gift to the world, it will touch you, but not change you. Precious as it is to proclaim, Christ died for the world. Even sweeter it is to whisper, Christ died for me. And that's something I had to remind myself a lot whenever I'm feeling the stress of the world take over and the anger take over. To combat that anger, I have to remind myself of this and that God loves me and that there is no reason to let the anger take over. Just give it to God because he took everything else that was negative out of my life. Thank God for the day Jesus took your place. For the day grace happened to you. I love you all. Jesus, he loves you too. <laughs> Sorry about that. Jesus loves you too. And if you haven't accepted him yet, he's still waiting. That's why he hasn't came back for his second coming yet. He is being patient. It is his grace and his mercy. And if you have come to him, much love to you, brothers and sisters. If you haven't, 
much love to you and I pray that you come to him. Stay blessed. Stay caffeinated. And stand strong in the Holy Spirit and in the Holy Word.